Yes, 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 yes. The new Cubase Pro 9 is out. On this video, we'll show you the new functions. Feature number one, the new interface. Cubase Pro 9 now has integrated windows, which means you don't have to change windows anymore. You just hit on those tabs. You see? This one's down here. You have immediate access to all the functions. This will save a lot of time. You have, you know, your right panel, your left panel, everything is there, including your transport bar. You can still use it as before if you want to, but now you can access all the functions straight from the one window. Feature number two, sampler track. Cubase Pro 9 now has a new sampler. I'm not talking about a plugin, this is resident, and you can drag audio straight from the edit window into it. It's got a ton of functions. Don, can you please show us? <laughs> and, and also, of course, it's got warp, which means you are going to be able to change the pitch through the keyboard without changing the tempo. Very, very useful. Feature number three, sidechain VST. Now you can pass the content of any track directly through any VST instrument. For example, here we've got Retrolog, which has very good filters, and now you can pass the audio through those filters. So basically every soft synth that you might have in your collection becomes a filter that you can apply to any track. Very cool. Feature number four, we have a few new plugins. The most interesting one is probably the EQ, which features the possibility of using each band as a mid or side independently. It's got very powerful filters with up to 96 dB per octave slopes, which is great. And uh, you can solo each frequency and it's got really good crossover points. Oh, and you can also turn it into linear phase, which makes it really accurate. And then there is a new look for some of the classic Cubase plugins, like the compressor, the envelope shaper. And then there is the new maximizer, which is very modern, great for retaining transients. It's got a really interesting sound. I invite you to watch it in action on our other video, the longer one about Cubase 9. You can find the link in the description. Finally, we have a new auto panner, which is extremely interesting and extremely flexible. You can design your pan however you want, you can synchronize it to the tempo of the song, and it can deliver very odd and interesting effects. Feature number five, mixing console history. In Cubase Pro 9, when you select the history tab, every movement that you do on your mixer is going to become an event. You can see it right here in the history. And the same goes for pan or for any plugin that you might want to choose. For example, I'm going to select now, let's say, Voxango, but then I'm going to have it on the history and I can undo that. Feature number six, multiple marker tracks. Now you can choose to have multiple lines of marker tracks, which means you can fit a lot more information, especially in those situations where you have a long track or uh, film music, for example. And now you can also export them which is a very nice addition. Feature number seven, new sounds. Within Cubase Pro 9, now you have a new set of sounds that you can use within the sampler track. Let's just quickly play a few of them, just for fun. So that is the new Cubase Pro 9 for you. If you want to learn how to mix on Cubase, we have a full video course called The Official Guide to Mixing. You can get it at a 20% off if you click on this link right now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.